All right, let's talk math. So the nice thing about Python is that right off the bat, it has a built in math interpreter. So what we can use it for is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. We can we could throw numbers at it and it'll do calculations for us. So let's take a look at what that actually looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and G edit. We'll call this math.py. You can call this whatever you'd like, by the way. I'm going to put the ampersand at the end again. And we'll just declare our bin Python 3 here. And then let's just call this math. So the nice thing about math is we can do a lot of different things. We're very flexible. So for example, we can print 50 plus 50. And here we're just adding, right? So let's take a look at what this looks like. We go here and we just say Python 3 math.py. You can see that it prints out 100. Now we can keep doing this for all sorts of different things, right? We can do 50 minus 50. We would expect zero here, right? And we can do print 50 times 50. And we can also do print 50 divided by 50 and divide. So I'm going to give you a chance to catch up here. I typed that very fast. I also have notes that I'm looking at, so a little bit of unfair advantage. But so when we see these and we save this and we run it, we're expecting everything to interpret just the way it did. So you see 100, 0, 2500, and then this 1.0 which we'll get into in just a little bit as to why it's coming out in a 1.0 format. But so we, we have this here and we can also do some interesting things like let's do something fun. Let's do print 50 plus 50 minus 50 times 50 and divide by 50. And what do you think this is going to do? Our good old friend of PEMDAS, if you remember that from math class. So try it one more time, see what number it pops out, pops out 50. So it also does more complex equations as well. So there's a few other things that I want to show you in the math section. And another thing to note, I know I've already stressed this before, and I'm going to keep stressing it, is to make sure you take good notes. This is absolutely going to feel overwhelming. I'm going to throw a lot of things at you, especially with all the stuff that you're learning. Take good notes, have a good notebook and make sure you're writing this all down. So then you can just go back and you can reference it. And from here on out, I'm the, the next video. What we're going to do is we're going to make a script and we're just going to build upon it. And I'll just leave everything in that script. So that way you kind of have a place for all of your notes as well. So here, let's talk a couple more things. So we can also do exponents. So let's say we want to do 50 to the 50th power. Well, we just write it like this. And now we have exponents here. Save it, run it really quick. And we get this very, very, very large number, right? Uh, we could just make this to the second power and make it a little bit simpler. Um, we could also do this. So we do print and we do 50% 6. Now this is called a modulo. Let's take a look at what it does. So 50 is not divisible by 6, right? So what it does is it takes the number that is left over. So we do 50 divisible by 6. Okay, 6 goes into it 8 times and then it has a leftover number of 2, right? 6 times 8 is 48 leftover number two. So that's the modulo. What if we were to divide by a number here and we said 50 divided by six? What is that going to do to us? Well, we print that out and you see it gives 8.33334. Perfect. That's fine. What if we just want a number without any leftovers? Well, we can do something like this. We can do 50 divided by six. And then we'll just say no leftovers here. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a second to catch up. We'll hit save on this. 
and we're going to go ahead and run it. And you can see that it just gives us gives us the eight doesn't give us that leftover of two that we had and put it into fraction form here or decimal form here. So uh, we have different ways that we can manipulate this numbers and we can do math on the fly. There's also math modules, which we haven't gotten to the modules yet, but there are additional math items that we can pull into this, like bringing in random numbers, for example, and other things that we can do more advanced calculations in Python. Uh, but as a base, it does quite a bit of items for us, and it is a essentially a built-in calculator. So we can do uh, quick math on the fly if we need to. So let's go ahead, and from here, we're going to move on to the next video where we're going to start talking about variables and methods.